Hey everybody, Max here again, and this is the first episode of Hafu Toku. I'm trying a little new thing here, kind of like a podcast style video. So I hope you enjoy it. We got two Hop Japanese peoples right here. We got Lil Domi, and、Hi. we also have Izumi, and we're all Sophia grads actually. So we haven't、yes. seen each other in like, like and three, four, and four, four. Five years. Well, because like I'm, and the thing is, I graduated like way before you guys.、Mm -hmm. Like,、yeah. I graduated 2013. Oh. Yeah. Well, because like <laughs> I, because when I, the last time I saw you was at that party. Yeah. And、uh, was it wild? It. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, so we we should explain though, because I introduced you as Lil Domi. Yeah. I mean, I know you as like Domi Chan, but、yeah. you started. So you started a. Did you start the band or like? No, it was we have. Because、um, uh, it's it's called Gloss, right? Gloss, yes, it's a group called Gloss. It was produced by a、um, this woman named Erica. Um, she found me in a club in Harlem. I don't party in Tokyo, but I just happened to go there one time, and she found me, and she just hit, hit me up on Instagram like a few months later, and was like, "Do you want、really? to try singing、so、she, and rapping?" She already had it like set up, like a couple girls. We had just casually talked though; it was nothing serious. It was just like, "Have you ever?" You know, sing rap. Have you ever done any of that this before? And I was like, "No, I never." Have I never tried to? But I would want to, and she just gave me the opportunity. So she just. A few just, months later, so. I forgot. I forgot to explain because, like, you know, we met. We all are Sophians, but I met you through the acting thing. Through the acting. At yeah. Remix. Oh Did, yeah. Were, were you a part of Remix? No, I'm a different agency. Oh okay, but are you still in? A, you're still an agency.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it Gaijin foreign talent? Yeah, it's like. There's a lot of like half. Mm. Are you allowed、Internet、to say the name?、Line. Is it a secret? Yeah, I, don't, I don't think so.、Uh, well, mm. well, okay. Well, you're an agency. agency yeah.、Though. Yeah. You're in. But Remix is pretty chill.、Yeah. Are you still? You're still there, right? I'm with Remix still. Yeah. But so like this new band, like they don't care what you do. No. Like, you can be a part of anything. It's pretty free. It's pretty casual, and I like it that way though, because I'm not restricted to what jobs I can and can't do. Uh huh. So. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty chill. Is that is that pretty common though? For like, do you all do all your like half of friends like model and stuff and <laughs> do talent?、Mm. Like majority, for I don't know my friend group. Majority of them model or are in、uh -huh. media, but、mm -hmm. I feel like the kokushijo or like half、mm -hmm. Japanese, half Americans are more like towards like corporate、uh -huh. so companies. I mean, if you have like a unique face, I feel、That's、like true. You, you're more towards like modeling and things.、Mm -hmm. like. Especially in Tokyo.、Yeah. I mean, like I,、yeah. I don't feel like I'd have much of a chance in the U.S. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I did like a little extra work to be honest, but it kind of、yeah. sucked, so I stopped.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like the more unique you look, the more like better, the better at getting. Have you? Have, how long have you guys been doing the modeling thing? I've been doing it for a long time. Because so long. How, when did you start? Well, because because you 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 you're from here, you know. Yeah, you're, you're, I was born here, so. You were born in Yokosuka. I was yes, I was born in Yokosuka,、mm -hmm. and I was raised around the Yokohama area so, all like, my life. So, is your first like Nihongo got first language? Yes,、like? it is.、Yeah. Japanese is my first language. That's what I thought. Which one got? Like Jozu, do you got? Ego. Uh, mm, I first learned Japanese because I was speaking it with you know the people around me, and the only person that I was speaking to in English was my dad. Until I started going to you know pre pre K first grade、uh -huh. and all that. That's when I finally started to learn English. So you you went to、uh, international school in the beginning. No, on school on base. Oh, on base. On、okay. base. But that's、yeah. English, right? Yeah, yeah, American school, so so so. Yeah. So you stay. You you grew up all in Japan, though, right? Yeah, all in Japan, but all in American school. Because、yeah, I know Izumi. So the environment's like. Yeah, the environment is different. So Izumi, Chigao, you know, like. Yeah. So my dad, it's different. My dad's Japanese, and my mom is Tanzanian Ethiopian.、Uh -huh. 
Um, I was born in Tanzania. Mm-hmm. So Tanzania is in... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, where is Tanzania? <laughs> the U.S. school system failed me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's surprising because not a lot of people know where Tanzania right, is. Like, right, right. when I first mm-hmm. came to uh-huh. Sofia, they're like, where's Tanzania? Yeah. Like, there's so... Yeah, because yeah. I, actually I was like, I was like, Africa, right? <laughs> but, 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 like, but I was like, it could, is, I was like, is it in the... I, I, mean, I don't want to like, say it. Much... I, now I'm just sound like an idiot. If I, no, but it's, it's kind of yeah. like the States. Like, you wouldn't know where, like... Nebraska or like yeah. um, Texas is where yeah. exactly is right, but you know where it is. It's kind of like uh-huh. that. Uh-huh. So Tanzania is in the east coast, beside yeah. mm-hmm. of Africa, just below Kenya. Yeah. How did so you were born there, and when did you come to Japan? So I was born there, and just after a year, I was born. I moved to uh-huh. Japan mm-hmm. and lived here for nine years. Uh-huh. Uh huh. In Tokyo. So, for you, it's Nihongo. So yeah, my first language is Japanese. Okay. But my mom <laughs> kept right. talking to me in Swahili. So, mm-hmm. but I would always like I can understand Swahili, but I would always reply in Japanese. And then mm-hmm. after that, I moved to Tanzania International School. Uh huh. And in, it just like in switched. Tanzania. Mm-hmm. To switch to English or. Swahili. Like I mean, it was international school, so it was oh, everything okay. was in English. English. Mm-hmm. So it just I. I went in, I didn't know English, I didn't know anything. <laughs> I understand Swahili, but like my, I was replying Japanese. So, oh, really? The yeah, it was do, like, like, I, it was like, like what? <laughs> <laughs> so I went to like Hoshuko. Hoshuko. Like, uh, Hoshuko. It's like a Japanese school, but oh, in, 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 in Tanzania. Tanzania. So, Nihongo ga ichiban jōzu na? Not now, no. Yeah. yeah. You can speak in Japanese. No, Nihongo <laughs> Yeah, I, I haven't really heard her speak Japanese too much. Oh, I think about it. Yeah, we should then she, 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 I can speak Japanese, but I just really don't. Okay, like we should do the next thirty seconds. Sanju, we always like send me on with it. Yeah, just a bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. あれ仕事で日本語使ってるんでしょ全然。え、でも英語英語も英語も使ってる。まあ、もちろん日本語もなんかライクキャスティングの仕事でも日本語でしょ。And then everyone of course you, you want to appeal the show and yeah. so you say like ah half of this and then it's like eh すごい。なんかハーフとしてdo you get jobs or gaijin としてdo you get like or black or like or do you fit the black model here like, or like half a model in? so like i feel like the media in japan is very behind yeah uh-huh. definitely like advertising wise too mm-hmm. yeah so you get jobs according to like specific character like mm-hmm. for example if if, yeah. if it's for japanese person like let's say um, Japanese school girl. school girl yeah they want someone who's Japanese well, yeah, looking, right sure. so yeah. or if it's like some hip hop they want like someone who's black you know, like, <laughs> so you get know, those it's, it's kind of like categorized, like, categorized, yeah, like, yeah, categorized. well it's like yeah yeah that's I don't know I guess that makes I don't know it works out for it you though out. right they're always categorizing like uh-huh. what kind of person they want well in, in the US too it's still pretty much like that like okay they'll say white. we need an Asian um, and when they say Asian they mean full Asian you know they're mm. not gonna take like a but I feel like mix. right now it's like becoming more mm. I heard like uh, commercials and stuff they get a lot more ethnically ambiguous mm. people because it's like I don't know commercials are not really like aimed to like have like a, a character you're yeah. just like advertising something I heard though like have you heard the Heineken uh, advertising mm. it was like a controversial thing where they had like Heineken? like a black and Minority and white, uh, basically. Were they married or something? No, no, no. They have oh. like it's like it's a setting where like they're in a rooftop bar and there's a um, bartender who's trying to like throw like just slide uh, Heineken across like. The, oh wait. <laughs> the thing <laughs> is, like, it just crosses all these like black people yeah. and then it just reaches to like this white person. This one white guy. And <laughs> but the thing is like i feel like this is strategy because the more controversial it is the more like media you get right yeah so i think like they're doing it deliberately any Mm -hmm. negative stuff yeah it's like it doesn't matter now yeah especially i mean just like that h&m uh incident incident right what was that 
that. Remember when um, they put the greatest monkey. the greatest monkey in the world hoodie on a black boy? Oh god! <laughs> but I didn't feel like it was anything bad though. It's probably, it, I don't know. Sometimes these things are It just like, depends on Sometimes it's literally the like person, I think. they yeah. don't have that intent. But they don't like, have the intent, but at the same time, like, you just think like, couldn't you have done it yeah, a little like, could, differently? Yeah, thought or, about this. Yeah, because like... Yeah. I think they did it on purpose just to get like media and attention. Yeah, see, that's also possible. But they lost money doing that, so... Have you, have you, Hopefully they learn. What, what do you guys think about like in Japan though, when they do like... Uh, like I've seen the uh, what was it? Did you watch Gaki no Tsukai? Hamada did Axel Foley or whatever. Like they gave him like they dressed him up as uh, you know Eddie Murphy and uh, oh yeah, no, I, I oh okay. and they, he did like black face. Yeah, black right? face. I don't, the thing is I don't know if it's like I don't like to consider it black face. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I think in Japan it's just Japan like, is different. It's different. It's different. He's doing it to be the character. Be the character. Yeah. Appreciate who Eddie Murphy was. Yeah. You know, and not to be like. And he, he, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. he's like, it's, it's hard because like, especially now, it's like a lot of people I will think assume. It's, yeah. it's just innocent, mm. like, yeah, no, I don't know. Did you also see, there's this video, uh, did you guys see this, um, I don't know if I should pull it up, there's, what is it, it's like, there's a Japanese girl who really liked to get like cornrows, she loves the hip hop culture. Like she works at like a hip hop store Maybe in like Shibuya she, 109. I think I saw that video. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it really it was like it's like she she's like gonna have a black night tonight or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it was a funny video, but it was like you know they appreciate the culture so much. Yeah. It. And I think yeah. it's also because like Japanese people like they want to be, you know, especially you know how it is like everyone is kind of forced to conform. Mm -hmm. So like they want to try something else and like. Yeah. This from is, state, I, I don't know, like from, you guys can yeah. tell me, but like, there's like cultural appropriation, you know, in the US, yeah. and then like in Japan here, it's like, it feels more like, they just don't know and they just like. It seems like it's like cultural appreciation. Appreciation. Like, yeah. Yeah. They really appreciate this new cult, not new culture, but different culture from their own, because mm -hmm. Japan is so, I don't know, kind of, not strict, mm -hmm. but they have their own bubble. ways or own bubble kind of in a box kind of way of thinking so yeah which is why it's like interesting for them which it's like is why messy. which is why being like hafu here it's like it's so different from being like hafu at, like in the u.s like i don't know about yeah. tanzini but like <laughs> it's not really a big deal like no one really cares like that you're mixed yeah yeah, yeah. but here it's like <laughs> <laughs> no, like in tanzania too like if you're a mix everyone's like oh my gosh just like you're mixed. Oh, really? oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh you're mixed, it's so cool. Like Especially uh -huh. with Japanese, huh? They'll probably like, Yeah, they're like, like oh. no, but like that's the thing, like there's not a lot of Japanese people in Tanzania. Uh -huh. So they just oh, automatically so that's think already, like, oh you're Chinese or something. Yeah. Chinese. <laughs> well, that's what they do in America too though. Actually like the I don't know if the I've gotten noticed that as just being Japanese before. Oh really? Mm. I, I don't think anyone's really called me Chinese. Really? I get that. I mean, it's not that I get it now, but when I went to school or high school in San Diego and I would say like I'm from Japan, people would be like, so do you speak Chinese? Yeah. <laughs> what, really? So no, that? I don't speak Chinese. I'm from Japan. I speak Japanese. <laughs> but they're like, but you can read the characters, right? Yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. Honestly, it's, it's like kind of true. <laughs> 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 like, yes. <laughs> when they say that, you're like, okay, you know, Japanese, Chinese. <laughs> Kind of similar. <laughs> like, you're right, I, I might be able to read some of the kanji characters, but, but it's, not, it's like not the same. Yeah. But, by the way, I, I was curious though, do you guys consider yourself like Blasian or Blackanese or or do you just say hafu or? Uh, no, uh, it depends on who I'm talking to, talking to I guess. Mm. When were you first introduced to like those words like Blasian? Blasian? Yeah. When I was like 14. Really? Yeah. So I was really obsessed with like, uh, like mixed race, biracial. Mm. Uh -huh. So I would always go on like internet and be like, oh, what's oh, the term really? for like Asian and black? Were you one of the only ones like? Blasian? Yeah, yeah. and the. Ah, uh, there were a couple. In Tanzania. Like, mm -hmm. like oh. when, like back then, it was probably just very few mm. Blasians. Like now, I see this like like a lot everywhere. Mm. Yeah, but back yeah. Then it was it's not cool like anymore. <laughs> I sometimes feel like. <laughs> Being Hafu, like, used to be cooler than now. 
because、yeah. like now everyone、mm-hmm. is like hot food. Everyone is. Honestly, much everyone. It's true. Yeah, like, it's like, like you have to be like three or four now and then <laughs> and speak、mm-hmm. multiple. Seriously, people speak like five languages. Yeah, like bilingual is like more tari nai than that. Yeah. But anyway, before we get too off topic, I wanted to bring it back and talk about 